Hi, everyone. Thanks for attending today's webinar, How Dealers Can Lower Their Upfront Customer Acquisition Costs, Reduce Ongoing Service Costs, and Increase RMR. My name is Jason Stegent, and I'll be your moderator for today's presentation. A few housekeeping notes before we get started, just to make you realize that you can optimize your webcasting experience with us. You have the ability to personalize your experience, which is unique. And by that I mean, if you look at the windows that are up, you have the ability to min-max those windows. You can move them around. Uh, so for example, if the slides aren't big enough for you and you want to view those slides in full screen mode, go ahead, maximize the slide deck. The audio will still be playing for you. So you've got a number of different ways that you can view the webinar. Uh, in terms of audio and visual, it's important to note there is no dial-in option for attendees. All attendees will be hearing this through their PC speakers. So a few things, a few best practices. One, make sure that the volume on your PC is up. If it's not, turn it on. Make sure it's loud enough for you to hear. The media player, which is under the slide deck, automatically defaults to about 75% volume. If you want to pump that up a little bit, go ahead and do it. Uh, if it's still not loud enough for you or if you're in a cubicle-based environment, we recommend headphones. So you've got a, a number of options to hear this optimally. Uh, in terms of Q&A questions, the third bullet point, we want you guys to be truly engaged. We want you touching your keyboard as much as possible. When I'm looking at the, the amount of registrations and attendees we have, we have a sizable audience. We hope we have a ton of questions coming in from you. The Q&A field is automatically up. It's under the speaker, under the speaker box. Simply type in your questions, click Submit, We'll get to as many of those questions as we can at the end of today's presentation. Uh, you'll see a resource center, which is a little paper clip. It's among the series of icons at the bottom of the screen. If you click on that paper clip, you'll have some supporting material around IP Datatel products, solutions, data sheets, et cetera. Go ahead and download those for safekeeping. And then finally, post-event, this is being recorded. This uh, webinar will be archived on demand within 24 hours. You'll receive an email post-event on how to access the on-demand version. We'll also include a link to the PowerPoint slides so you can have those to reinforce what you learn, share them with folks that you think would get a lot of value out of it. Regarding today's presenter, Ryan McConnell, I've known Ryan for a very long time. He's a great guy, but he's exceptionally smart and, uh, and knows a lot about the space. I think he's going to be a great resource for all of our attendees today. Ryan joined IP Datatel in 2009. He was actually the company's first employee. He's currently the Director of Business Development, uh, has over 10 years of experience in the security space. And he remains focused on working with dealer partners to help them become more efficient by reducing costs and reducing unnecessary service calls while lowering customer attrition. So I think Ryan, more than anybody that I know, can really speak to how dealers can lower their upfront customer acquisition and service costs, and he's a perfect fit for today's presentation. So before we get into the presentation, a quick run through of today's agenda. Ryan's going to start out by talking about the current dealer situation, the current environment the dealers are in. He's then going to move on to how they can lower their acquisition costs, best practices around that. We're then going to touch on reducing service costs. From there, we're going to move into what dealers can do to increase customer retention. Ryan's then finally going to touch on steps to the future, what dealers can do moving forward to achieve all the benefits that Ryan's talking about. And then finally, we are going to end with a Q&A. Remember, if you have any questions, send your questions in. We want to answer as many as possible. So with that being said, we're going to get started. And, and Ryan, you know, it has always been tough to be a security dealer. And Ryan, you say that the situation is getting tougher to increase revenue and control costs. Can you break this down further for the audience? Absolutely. Jason, first of all, I want to thank you for having me here today. I look forward to providing uh, some insight uh, to our group of valued listeners on the line today. To answer your question, absolutely. Competition right now is far greater than it's ever been. You have companies out there that have been around a long time. Some are extremely innovative, lead changes, but some are not. There's also a new generation of security companies that are extremely tech-savvy and are up on the latest and greatest technology. Times are drastically changing. You know, if I asked most of you 10 years ago about interactive services, most would say, what's that? Does it require a phone line as a primary? But to get to the point, the current situation in the security industry really boils down to three key components, and that's acquiring customers, servicing customers, and retaining those customers. 
Right. Ryan, based on your experience, how can dealers lower their upfront acquisition costs? Sure. Well, you know, most importantly in this industry, specifically related to uh, security alarms, you know, using a universal communicator can save you up to $450 per installation. It drives a higher sales closing rate, reduces the upfront costs. Utilizing a universal alarm communicator saves about 50% compared to the purchase of a new wireless alarm panel that's really just one keypad and a couple of motion detectors. So with that being said, that also reduces your installation time by up to 65%. Uh, security companies, you know, today, they can really be misguided by installing a completely new wireless system on the wall because it can tell you the weather, you know, rather than using the existing system, which, by the way, is the best method. You really want to use that existing system. But listeners, just so you know, there is a weather app on everyone's phone. However, uh, you know, in this case, when someone does have to install equipment, whether it's a universal communicator or a brand new wireless panel, there's a couple of ways to handle uh, the way that those items are paid for. You know, one is it could be absorbed by the dealer, in which case, you know, several months of RMR will be required uh, to make up for the high cost of an installation, for instance, on an all wireless panel. Or two, uh, offer the customer a very high quote to pay up front for all the equipment, which in some cases can be a deal killer. The problem is that security systems don't have the value that they used to have. You have to provide the value as a security dealer at the lowest possible cost with the most amount of features. In the late 70s and early 80s, alarm systems could cost $3,000, $10,000, $15,000, uh, and that's just not the case anymore. Uh, there's all sorts of marketing going on uh, with this race to zero. So we look at, at, at that kind of marketing, um, and people see that every single day, and unfortunately it has put a, uh, the wrong idea in people's minds. So why not use the existing security system and the, and the existing peripheral devices? It allows the customers to use the system that they're used to while you can close more sales. Ryan, you had touched previously on reducing service costs. Can you expand on that for our audience? Absolutely. So when you look at reducing service costs, uh, you have to look at products that are going to give you a feature-rich environment to work in, such as IP Datatel. Uh, IP Datatel offers key bus connected devices, which will allow you to use Honeywell's Compass, DSCs, DLS software for uploading and downloading. You'll also receive a full virtual keypad where you can change user code, change zones, bypass zones, several programming steps within that to provide those remote services. Now, on average, our dealer partners see an average savings of $206 per customer over the life of the customer by reducing truck rolls alone. So capabilities such as a virtual keypad, and by full keypad, I mean entering programming and making changes such as changing those user codes, viewing the system troubles, and changing entry-exit delays I mean, how cool is that? For the first time, you can deliver excellent customer service, eliminating the need for your customer to take off of work or skip a Saturday with their family. I brag on IP data, but it's the absolute best option and the only option that gives you this much flexibility. Perfect. Ryan, you had talked about, you've obviously talked thus far about acquiring customers and reducing service service costs. Can you help explain to our listeners how dealers can increase customer retention? Sure. For the longest time, uh, I've been told that alarm companies want to install an alarm system, sign the customer up for a term contract, then never speak to them again. But really, that's what I've been told over the past 10 years. And, and I look at that and how the game has really changed. Uh, it, it's no longer like that. It's an eat or be eaten world right now. Uh, with the new service offerings such as security system control from an app, uh, video and home automation, your customers need to know that you offer these services and that you're the trusted source for these products, not Home Depot. So these services really help to increase your RMR and your customer retention. You know, if a customer has something on their phone that they're used to using every single day, the chances of them giving that up are slim. So these services do help to increase that, that customer RMR and retention, and customers truly expect all of these services. I ask all of you to notice the commercials on TV every day, spreading the awareness. Again, it's absolutely necessary. 
Perfect. And then in, in regards to, to steps to the future, Ryan, could could you go ahead and summarize today's topics, what you touched on, and give, give our folks a, a brief recap of what we covered and, and what hopefully they learned? Sure. And again, thank you, everyone, for joining. I just want everyone listening to walk away with these three tidbits of advice. Uh, you know, number one, save money and time. Number two, reduce your service costs. And number three, increase your RMR. And when you find a company, a provider such as IP Datatel that does those things for you, you've hit the jackpot. The more you can drive down your costs and time but increase your RMR, the more profitable you will be. It's a simple math equation. The most obvious avenue to achieve greatness is by choosing IP Datatel. Your experience with our elaborate, feature-rich product, exceptional customer service, and the fact that we're truly alarmed guys will set you down the right path. So, Ryan, how can dealers learn more or get started today with IP Datatel? Sure. You can contact our inside sales team at sales at IPDatatel.com, or if you would prefer, the number is 866-896-2944. They'd be more than happy to get you taken care of and answer any questions you may have to get started. Perfect. So, before we roll into the, to the Q&A session, just a few housekeeping notes. You still have time to send in your questions. We have a big audience today. We've had a ton of questions coming in for Ryan. It looks like he, he struck a chord with folks. If you have any questions, if you want Ryan to expand on anything he talked about or if he didn't cover a few things that you have questions about, send those in. We'll answer as many of your questions as possible. As I mentioned on the front end, we are recording today's webinar. It will be available on demand within the next 24 hours. So within the next 24 hours, you will receive an email on how to access the on-demand version of uh, today's webinar so you can reinforce what you learn. We're also going to give you a gift. We're going to include a link to the PowerPoint slide deck so you can, can keep this deck for safekeeping, share it with your folks, share it with your team. All right, Ryan, we had a bunch of questions coming in from the audience, so let's go ahead and, and get into them. All right, so the first question for you, Ryan, is, Ryan, I have a client that owns 10 subway locations that experience an unusually high turnover rate. How can IP Data Tell's remote servicing eliminate the need for a service call every time they need to change user codes? Well, great question. Uh, IP Data Tell makes it extremely uh, simple. Now, if you use upload and download software uh, for DSC and or Honeywell panels, uh, you may transmit uh, the information using our uDownloader software. Uh, for those of you that are, are unfamiliar, uh, IP Datatel offers a free download uh, and a usage of a driver for DLS and Compass as it relates to DSC and Honeywell panels. Uh, you may also uh, log into the virtual keypad manually uh, and change and program these codes. All right, perfect. Is that it? Any other, any other uh, meet, or should we go on to the next question? We can go to the next question. All right, fantastic. This next one is from, actually, Glenn had a question, but I think that this question is going to answer Glenn's question, if that makes sense, Ryan. So the second one's from David. And Glenn, uh, be on the lookout for, for this answer since you asked something similar. David wanted to know, Ryan, you mentioned upload and download. How is that possible? Uh, sure. So uh, as mentioned, IP Datatel has developed a driver that runs uh, in the background, um, allowing you to upload and download software. And you're simply toggling uh, between uh, the actual uh, hardware or the software from the manufacturer, uh, such as a Honeywell Compass. Uh, we're just a, uh, you would toggle us on uh, more or less uh, to enable IP Datatel to upload and download through our devices. Uh, and this, this software is a free download and it's unlimited access for no additional charge. Uh, but as I mentioned, it is for DSC and Honeywell only. Uh, as it relates to uh, GE, uh, we have not uh, have not completed that project as of yet. Okay, great. This next one, Ryan, we're going to hit about four or five more. You have time? Absolutely. I think we're good. Fantastic. This third one is coming from Shelby. She wanted to know, she said, Ryan, great webinar. Uh, thanks for the presentation. You mentioned, Ryan, remotely servicing via virtual keypad. Can a dealer change user codes? Uh, sure, and this kind of goes hand in hand with what we just talked about um, in, in the, I think, the first question. Um, but yes, the virtual keypad uh, from IP Datatel actually it emulates 
the alpha keypad that's connected to the system. Uh, this is due to the fact that a majority of our products uh, engineered by IP Datatel connect to the key bus of Honeywell DSC and GE CADEX panels. Uh, you can perform most all functions uh, you could from the keypad that's actually in the customer's home or business, uh, with the only real exception uh, being partition systems. Um, there are some limitations, but very few. Uh, for more information, uh, contacting sales at IP Datatel or visiting ipdatatel.com uh, would be a, a great source for that. Okay, great. Uh, we've got, looking at it, we've got at least three or four more. So we'll get into the next one. This one's from Joe. Ryan, do you still get interactive services if utilizing cellular only? Can you elaborate on that? Sure. So uh, absolutely, uh, the answer. Uh, every every single product that IP Datatel engineers uh, and manufactures uh, offers some level of interaction. Uh, you have our Keybus connected devices, uh, which are our most feature rich. Uh, those have been discussed through uh, the first couple of questions. Um, connecting to the Keybus, being able to change user codes, uh, etc. Uh, but we do offer simple interaction on some products with key switch arming and disarming, uh, which allows the customer to have a simple on-off access. Uh, all, pro all products as well provide notifications via text, push notification, or email, as well as relaying the signal to the central station. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to hit two more, maybe three. This one is from Simona. Ryan, I know you didn't cover this topic today, but I'm hearing more and more about the TG sunset, or TG, <laughs> 2G sunset. Sorry, Ryan. How long do you okay. think dealers have to replace 2G and POTS monitored systems? From what I've seen, uh, and that's where I can, I can definitely uh, speak uh, regarding 2G, uh, it was too late as of yesterday. Uh, I'm kidding, but honestly, I, I wouldn't wait. Uh, we, we've already seen several dealers across the nation uh, go offline randomly without warning. Um, you know, I, I think back to a, an example. We have a dealer uh, in Atlanta, a very large dealer, that found out in the middle of the night uh, that over 3,000 customers had been sunset without notice. Uh, so, so definitely today uh, would be a great day to start. Uh, but now POTS lines, uh, this is... This is a to whole other ball game. It's been a major discussion, um, and it's sunsetting whether you know it or not, uh, because around 9,000 customers per day in the United States alone uh, are being switched over to voice over IP lines without notice uh, due to the cable provider. So, for instance, uh, you sign up with AT&T or Comcast for cable service. You also have a phone line with them. Uh, they will quickly convert that uh, phone line over to voice over IP and taking it off of the standard uh, copper lines. Uh, so the the real deal is there. You could have a pot line today. Uh, tomorrow it could be gone. Um, so you know, if I had any advice on on both of those topics with 2G radios and pot lines, uh, replace your 2G radios today. Stop installing pot lines today, and and begin upgrading your customers. You're you're going to increase your RMR. You're going to increase the customer experience, and you're going to lower your attrition. So they'll switch you over to voice over IP without even telling you, huh? They will. Uh, we, we see it all the time. I, my parents are the perfect example. I've been in their home 15 years, uh, have always had a POTS line. They changed from uh, Comcast over to AT&T. AT&T converted their line over to, to VoIP. And, uh, you know, luckily enough for them, uh, I'm in the business and can lead them in the right direction. Awesome. Yeah, lucky for them. So, all right, we're going to hit two more, Ryan, and then we're going to wrap things up. So this one's coming from Rob. Ryan, Rob wants to know, is there an example or demo of the phone app, and how is it comparable to Alarm.com? Uh, okay, good question. So, uh, yes, uh, there is a, a demo of the phone app. You can visit IPDatatel.com uh, to check out screenshots. Uh, and things like that, uh, just to kind of see the different features. We also have a live demo. The username is IP Demo HA, and the password is simply 123456. Um, I wouldn't really compare us to Alarm.com. We're not uh, really in the same uh, on the same panel compatibility as them most in most cases. 
Uh, we're a much more feature-rich solution uh, because we do tie it to the key bus of the alarm panel. Um, but we released our Secure Smart app uh, last year, uh, and it was a total redesign from the old IP fob app. Uh, it looks great. We've got another rendition coming out uh, at the beginning of September uh, that's going to be a little bit more feature-rich, uh, give you, the dealer, uh, more access to uh, branding, uh, event logs, uh, multiple locations, uh, including hierarchy. Uh, so if you have a uh, person that has a home and a business and they want to use one app, um, they can restrict other users so they could give their employees access to their business without uh, giving them access to their personal home. Got it. All right, let's tackle one more, and then we'll wrap things up. If anybody has any last-minute questions, feel free to send those in. Uh, we still have, you know, this this webinar was short and sweet, so we still have plenty of time uh, if you want to send in any questions. But for now, we'll just tackle this one. Uh, this is coming from Jim, Ryan. Uh, he wants to know, Ryan, any idea when DSC Neo will be supported? Uh, I don't have a timeline uh, on that on that uh, on the delivery of that product. Uh, we are working towards uh, compatibility, uh, but uh, right now you can use our CAT CDMA, our BAT CDMA, and our BAT Wi-Fi uh, as a tip and ring solution. It'll power off the panel, and you can also do key switch arming and disarming uh, through an open zone on the panel as well. Perfect. I don't see any other questions that are coming through. If you have any questions outside uh, of what's been asked and answered today, um, actually, hold on, guys. Got one more. Let, let me get one more for you, uh, Ryan. This is the last one, if it's okay with you. It's uh, ETA. Uh, this is from Glenn. Glenn answered, asked a question earlier. Glenn wanted to know, is there an ETA on combat compatibility with DLX 9000 uploading software for the GEs? Um, there is not a specific deadline uh, on that particular product, um, but you know it is something that we you know kind of is driven by supply and demand. With about 60 to 70 percent of the alarm panels out there that you can upload and download, a lot of that is Honeywell and DSC. Uh, in regards to uh, GE. It's a much smaller market, um, but we do have a, a running list and a case built uh, to move forward with the compatibility. Uh, we're, we're waiting on our next product release, which is for another GE product that unfortunately I can't mention um, right now. Um, but once that is, uh, is completed and the engineering is done, uh, it, will, it will make that a bigger case uh, for that uploading and downloading software. All right. Fantastic. We're going to wrap it up there, Ryan. Uh, like I said, if Ryan, if you had any questions, we're not going to take any more today. Uh, we want to be cognizant of, cognizant of everybody's time. If you have any questions uh, outside of what you heard, you saw the the, uh, the information that we provided on how you can reach out to Ryan, how you can reach out to the inside sales team at, at IP Datatel uh, via email or call to get any, uh, any of your questions answered. If you want to reach out to Ryan directly, I know he's open to talking to to pretty much anybody and everybody, so feel free to reach out to Ryan. Uh, just one last mention, this webinar is going to be available on demand. You'll get an email. It's 11.25 my time, central time right now, or 11.24 now. You'll get an email before noon tomorrow on how to access the on-demand version. We'll include a link with, uh, with how to access it. So if you attended, you can reinforce what you learned. If you registered but didn't attend, um, then you'll see what you missed. We'll also include uh, a, an attachment to where you can download that, that PowerPoint deck um, so you can have that for safekeeping, share it with some other folks that you think would get some value out of it. But with that being said, I am going to shut it down. I want to thank everybody for attending. We know you're busy ramp, you know, ramping things down before the 4th of July holiday. Thanks for giving us 30 minutes of your time. Ryan, great job. Let's do it again, okay? Yes, and thank you, everybody, again, for attending. We truly appreciate it. All right. Ryan, we'll talk to you soon, everybody. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.